Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another episode of This Is Today. This is Pastor Vern Bryant, Pastor of and United Methodist Church, and I welcome you to This Is Today, and I'm broadcasting here from our beautiful sanctuary this morning. I thought it would be a nice change, um, so welcome. Our scripture lesson for this morning comes from Proverbs 13, 12, and it says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And I want to talk about growing for just a moment. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, as we come now to this time together, I ask that you would bless our time together. Through Christ the Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. You know, hope is living and it gives health. Hope deferred allows illness and depression to come over a person. Like trees and flowers and grass, our hope will grow if we allow it to do so. Our hope will definitely grow, but we have to allow it to grow. With each passing year, the roots of hope grow deeper, finding nutrients in the depth of God's goodness. Hope grows because we who have, we're the ones who have to grow it. As Christians, we are forever being changed and challenged by the events that mold and shape us. Right now, we're all being challenged. Lord knows we're being challenged by the events that mold and shape us, good and bad. Those events mold and shape us and it helped to grow our faith or it helps our hope and faith to waver. We are not the same people we were yesterday, neither will be the, be the same people tomorrow, we're constantly growing and we're constantly changing. I think I said this once before in an episode that we, we're changing and we're growing and we're different people, but it is the hand of God and the working of the spirit that is transforming us. God is forever at work in our lives, even during the Advent season, and it's growing and it's changing and it's transforming us into people that God wants us to be, and it is the hope that we have that is creating new and exciting things within us. God wants to do something new and exciting within us. And that should give us great joy. And we are being challenged because of that hope. That hope that lives in you is challenging you and helping you to grow and helping you to become the person that God wants you to be. Hope grows because God gives it that purpose in our lives. And it grows because God who gives it is alive. And although God never changes, God's giving is to help us to change. God is trying to constantly change us. And God's giving to us helps us to change and it increases our faith. The one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever gives more today than we are able to take in yesterday. God is constantly pouring out God's spirit upon us. God is constantly working in our lives. You know, a lot of times we can let things shatter our faith and diminish our hope, but it is the hope that we have in Jesus Christ that constantly keep us going. I know for my own self, there are days I can tell you there are days when it's like, man, you know, this is happening and that's going wrong. And you look at what's going on in the world and you're like, man, and if you dwell on it, it starts to diminish your hope and your faith. But when you know the God whom you serve is still active and working in your life, man, it changes everything. So don't think you're the only ones who get discouraged. Us pastors get discouraged too sometimes but God is still working. And so we keep enlarging in our hope until we enter eternal hope and we don't need our present hope anymore. Eventually it's gonna all pay off when we shall, when we, he shall appear and we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. It's gonna pay off. I know we're struggling right now. I know we're dealing with a lot right now. And you know, it makes it even more difficult, especially during the Advent season. We're dealing with a lot, but God is still at work. 
and God still loves us and God still cares. And God is still an uh, ever-present help in time of trouble. So continue to push forward. Continue to hold on to God's hand. And just read Proverbs 13, 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious God, we all get to that point, Lord, when it seems like our hope is trying to diminish and our faith is starting to fail. But Lord, help us to forever trust in you. Help us to hold on to you because, Lord, you care for us. Christ the Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. Hey, friends, I pray that you have a wonderful week. I pray that God just blesses you and that you just be a blessing to others. And know that I love you, but God loves you most of all. The next time, this is Pastor Vern Bryant saying you be blessed and be a blessing. Take care. Stay safe. Stay strong. Bye-bye.